Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the December update for Fractured Space. Here are a few things you need to know to make sure you have a good time. We have four brand spanking new ships, including the Persecutor, the Interceptor, the Gladiator, and the Black Widow. We can look forward to the entire player base being horrible at these ships for the next few weeks until we figure them out. But hey, that's part of the fun, ain't it? Next, you can look forward to this brand spanking new lobby system. Each game mode is now separated into its own tab with a description available. So, hopefully this will cut down on the confusion and stop people from wandering into modes they don't want to play. Next, we have the new in-game upgrade system. At levels 3, 6, and 9, you can upgrade the attack, defense, or utility of your ship. To do this, just go to a friendly base and hit the corresponding key for the upgrade you want. This can also be done while you are respawning. There is a short description under each upgrade of what you are actually getting. Be sure you take these upgrades as soon as possible, because if you don't, you will be stuck at level 2 for the entire game. As you just saw, you can now choose between multiple jump destinations when jumping to a different sector. To jump to these new points, all you have to do is mouse over the one you want and click on it. Be sure to study the map before you jump though, you wouldn't want to jump right into a group of enemies. Gamma and all forward bases now operate on a tug of war style capture system. This means that instead of immediately wiping out the enemy team's capture progress, you will have to capture back all of their progress before you can start capturing for yourself. This also means that a single ship will no longer completely stop the capture process. Instead, every ship present will contribute to the capture rate for their team. Whoever has the highest capture rate, dictated by number of ships, levels, crew bonuses, etc., will be the team that is currently capturing said point. However, the actual rate of capture is determined by the total difference between the two teams present. So if each team has two ships in gas but one team has a single level advantage, the team with a level advantage will actually be capturing gas. However, that capture speed will be hindered by the two enemy ships present. Newly present on every forward station is the addition of a beacon. Forward stations normally have a detection range of only 5 kilometers, but the beacon has a detection range of 15. So by destroying this beacon, you can deprive the enemy team of vision in that sector to an extent. Currently, it appears these beacons do not respawn, and that means the vision advantage is permanent. So if you have a few spare moments and can take out a beacon, it would really help your team to do so. There has been a slight change to gas time in this patch. Gas still spawns every 5 minutes after the previous gas was captured. However, the initial gas spawn has been changed to 5 minutes instead of 8. In addition, there is a fourth level of gas that will allow you to bypass the sector lock of an enemy team. This means that if you have gas 4, you do not have to have the forward base in a sector in order to jump into the enemy base. Home bases have undergone a radical redesign. While you still have to get inside the cat bubble and capture the enemy base to win the match, each home base now sports a large number of turret batteries that will eat you alive. These turret batteries are completely destructible and will not respawn. And while it is not required that you destroy them in order to cap the enemy base, it is generally a very, very good idea to do so. And finally, we have two new cash shop items, the credits booster and the XP booster. Now I'm sure all of you are familiar with the first one of the day bonus that is present in most free-to-play titles. And I'm also sure all of you are familiar with the pain of losing that first one of the day bonus in a game where you did absolutely horribly. These cheap cash shop items will help you get around that pain. When you purchase these boosters, they do not immediately go into effect. Instead, you buy these boosts that currently only come in packs of four, and then you can choose to use them on whichever games you wish. So this means if you are farming for a specific ship and have a really awesome game, you can use a credit and or XP booster in order to get you to that ship even faster than that awesome game would have already let you do. The match results screen even tells you exactly how much you're going to get out of your booster when you use it. This way you know exactly what you are getting into before you click that use booster button. 
Thank you for joining me for this quick overview of the Fractured Space December update. If you would like a more in-depth video on some of these things, please feel free to request that video in the comments, bug me on Twitter about it, or come by my Twitch and bug me there. Thank you and see you next time.